guys? What's happening? Not much. What you doing, man? Hey, listen, I wanted to ask you, did you buy all that stuff at the Gucci store? <laughs> did you get it? Did you get it? I got all that. Oh, shit. I got all that. <laughs> that is good. That's good. That's right. Hey, listen. I like the shoe. I like it. You didn't like the shoes, Milos? No, the first one was uh, gay, hundred percent. You talking you about? Are you? Are you talking about? Are you talking about the sneakers? Hey, hey, no, no, no. The other. Listen, listen, we have we have fifty plus. I'm fifty nine. What are you? Fifty eight? Yeah, but I'm not. Listen, I'm not dressing like a fifty eight year old guy, man. What's wrong with you? You go I ahead. Am. You yeah, go maybe ahead. That's yeah. You do that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's right. I wear I wear jeans with holes in them and everything. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Oh, you want us to? Oh, you want us to dress our age? You want us to dress? Yeah. Listen, yeah. Speaking of that, I refuse. I, went, I refuse to dress like my age. I went some, to some uh, MMA shop and I bought this affliction. You know, with the with the skull and all this. Oh shit. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I should be wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, affliction is out for 10 years already. It's gone. Yeah, it's, you know. it's still available if they, when you come to Vegas, I'll show you. So right now, they're probably only $25. Right. Uh, 50 uh, uh, $50. Yeah, but I wouldn't wear affliction because it's out. Nobody wears affliction anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, it's like, it's so like. It looks like you pull that out of the Milo. closet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Milos, it's like you're wearing a rack top from T. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you make your point. Well, That'd be uh, kind of cool, though. That'd be <laughs> cool in listen, I never follow the fashion. What's in, what's out? It's just what I like. I don't like. I don't give a shit. Yeah. You know? But uh, now I felt this is. A, I'm kind of too old to to wear this kind of stuff. You know. So what do you mean too old? You're only as old as you feel. I feel at 59. <laughs> <laughs> just, do, you, look, do you really though? Do you, you really? Know your problem is, Milos. You were just too damn. You were too damn pretty when you were younger. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was pretty. Hair was too great. Should have been yeah. a porn. Should have been oh, a porn that. star. Should have been a porn yeah, star. Made way more money. Hey, hey. <laughs> slinging. My, my daughter does more shows. <laughs> Listen, my daughter doesn't believe me, right? But I, I didn't know I was good looking. I was like, I, you know. I hey, was Milos, so, Milos, hold on, hold on, stop right there. You didn't know you were good looking. Was it the 400th cover? What confirmed that you were good looking? The 400th cover, cover in fucking magazine? <laughs> no, well, hold a second, hold a second. Mm -hmm. I was in the cover because I was aesthetically pleasing. Uh, everybody was. I'm not parents. even. I'm not even. <laughs> well, but we're not. We're not talking. We're not even talking about the fucking body. We're just talking about the face. You had this yeah. model face. That that is you know it, you know. It. Hey, I, if I could if I could rewind now, I could rewind back a couple of episodes where we talk about you know getting pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a problem. I didn't have a problem there. But listen, <laughs> when, when I see some of the old pictures, I said, "God damn, this is like a fucking Hollywood book," and I and I didn't feel it at the time. Hey, uh, hey, Chris, Chris, we looking for Chris, wins, Chris. <laughs> Chris, Milos came to my wedding, right? Yeah. Got everybody confused. <laughs> Even my sister. My sister, who's this? Who's this? <laughs> and, uh -huh. and, and then, and, and then Milos on the other side. Who's this? I said, that's my sister. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, no. Oh, shit. No, that, that was... That was a good time in, in Thailand. Uh, but hold on. Listen, listen, I'm like, I'm kind of showing my trophy over there. Yeah. You yeah. see something hanging? Yeah. Can we? You see something hanging? What's hanging? What is it? Oh, you're VIP, you motherfucker. Hi, <laughs> 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 Sylvia Samuel. Ta-da! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, so now, what does this mean? What changed now to what you know from what you had this already going on before? Full access, anything UFC does, mm. as Dana uh -oh. told. But you already had that before. Well, you know, kind of. I, I wanted to sleep with it a sec, but I don't want to fucking break it. So, so, I, so, so you got to keep it. You can't lose this, huh? Yeah, exactly. This is this should be normal and safe. But right now, I'm ha I hang it there, you know, like a movie. Well, well, the good thing is the good, the good thing is nobody else can use it because Man, it's, I, it's your I picture. Need, I need I need my shot at the at the UFC now 
Milos, everybody else that went. Hey, hey but <laughs> Hunter's going to be <laughs> watching this episode, and then uh, it's okay, it's time for Chris. All right, man. Let me know, man. I'm ready. I'm only an a, a hour away. Hour, hour okay. away? What do you mean an hour away? Right. Oh, shit. I'm only 45 minutes. <laughs> I, I'm just going to tell you this, guys. West, I'm dead serious. Hunter is a huge fan of bodybuilding. You know, I didn't know how much, but he is huge. He follows everything. He knows anything. Mm. I mean, he he uh, uh, sent uh, Jay Cutler, like, all the videos from Jay that he, he got a long time ago. Oh, here it is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Good. Yeah, English, uh, <laughs> nine minutes late. Yeah, but he's got the black people syndrome. You know, everybody's fucking black people always fucking late. <laughs> one time, bro. Yeah. Just one time. What's up? What's up, Nathan? Nothing much, bro. Just got back for a little massage. Listen, Relaxing now. I got to tell you this right, right off the bat. You impressed the shit out of me with that video you posted yesterday. You like oh. it? Bro, that shit looks. Did you see that? Did no. you Did you see that? Oh, everybody in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just keep it real right now. Everybody's going to be in trouble. Where, where, where did you post? On Insta you Instagram. He did okay. lat, lat pull downs. Look at that shit. Yeah, I seen Regan post this, so I posted on myself. <laughs> Chris, 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 you didn't see that? Yeah, man. Dude, I know, man, Nathan's a beast, man. I know Nathan very well. <laughs> I, not, that, not to surprise me like that. I, no, I, but I, that, shit, that shit was fucking crazy yesterday. Uh, look, at, look at Milo. Look at Milo's face. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen, listen. It's going to be, uh, uh, you know, interesting. Uh, if I, you know, Dennis, uh, if I uh, coach all three of you, I would want all three of you to try to beat each other. Right. This yeah. is my, we don't want to beat Nathan at his worst. We want to beat Nathan at his best. And he wants to beat Nathan. And he wants to do the, same, with, uh, to do the same with uh, Regan, right? Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. going to be interesting. I love it. I always love uh, Nathan's physique. Nine times fucking champion. I, I, Nine times I'm, champion. I'm just still so fucking impressed with how fast this guy gets in shape. Yeah, that I don't understand. <laughs> I, I really don't know what the fuck, is, how, how is that even possible? Hey, here, here, you know, you know my, my thing about Nathan is, uh, it's not, I just, I just think that he will work his ass off and he has a, he has an edge about him to where he, he don't want to back down from people. He ain't afraid of nobody. And I know he works fucking hard. Dude. I've seen him. Fucking, I understand, I, Chris. I don't, I don't. A lot of people I, talk it. A lot of people talk it. I know, but I don't doubt that. Talk. I don't doubt all that for one second. But talk I know, it. I know talk there's it. other people that work hard too. But I'm just, I just don't it. get how you can get in shape so fast. I'm talking three, four weeks. This guy changes like other people in three months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. It took a long time off too, though, right? Yeah, man. Uh, I took last year off, right? I probably, last year, I probably trained four weeks of the year, all, all last year. Those muscles. Oh. Are... Why? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, in a whole year you train only for four weeks. Oh, he had this bicep. He had this bicep right. bicep right. surgery, and then he tore the other bicep. Yeah, right. <laughs> he, he, what do you call yourself? The arm. Well, this is this is Kevin Lebroni shit. Yeah, this is Kevin Lebroni shit. Yeah, for real though. Yeah, for real. So I started. I started. I started training. So last year I tore my bicep in January, my left one, and then I tore. I got back training in June. So, and then I told my right one in July, um, got back training around about the 20th, 24th of January, something like that. Um, and then it was just straight into a small off season. And then, um, so you basically, so you basically just trained from June to July and tore your other arm. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> basically, bro. Yeah. Well, I, I don't... He must be pissed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he loves to be so pissed. He tore his biceps like did that. You, but but you didn't tear it off the bone though, did you? Yeah, both of them off the bone. Yeah. So, but why? How come I can't see it, bro? Mo good money, bro. Good surgeon. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. If, if it's reattached correctly, huh? If it's reattached correctly, it's great. I mean, uh, it shouldn't be visible uh, if it's reattached perfectly. Yeah. You so, can be, I don't think you can see it. You can, you know, if you're scrutinizing it slightly, you can you can notice it. I think, but you know, from a picture or on stage, you're not gonna you're not gonna notice it. What did it do anything to your training uh, mentally? Um, not really. It made me go a little bit harder, Chris, because you know the surgeon said it's a hundred times stronger than it was originally. 
Uh, I mean, okay. like as far as how you uh, manipulate tension in your body or in the muscles, do you constantly now with more? The, now with this, yeah, I train um, I train biceps a little bit different. I, I don't do yeah, don't do the full range on the shoulder press no more. I do right. most of the, most of the most of the movements, but I'd rather do you know the full from like just from here straight up. Don't let like yeah. it bring it too far down. Right, right, right. Just in case anything happens, you know. I'm yeah. still I'm still I'm still wary of it, but. I just try and keep it a little bit, you know, just in the, in the back of my head. Right. Listen, right. La last time I saw Nathan was in Dubai show, and uh, he was also like weeks away from the Olympia. And uh, if you remember, Nathan, he told me, you might do it. And it was like two, three weeks away. I said, like, uh, yeah. how, how are you going to do it? Because he didn't look like he got in shape. But then he told me, hey, I got in shape super fast. Nathan, <laughs> right, let's get to that. Nathan, let me ask you this. When you switch from your regular off season or not doing anything to contest diet, what changes in your diet? What do you eliminate and what do you add? I just take out um, curries, bro, Indians and um, a kebab. So I'll replace them meals with chicken and rice and that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's uh, the, how many uh, meals do you have? You know why I believe him? You know why I believe him? Because I asked him this a couple of years ago and he said the same thing. Uh, meals, I'm on like six six solid meals, um, and then obviously a post-workout meal, which I don't really count, and then obviously an inter-workout shake and a pre-workout shake. So uh, I'd, say, I'd say six solid meals, meals and obviously three, three in a small space, you know? So, so, but, but you do have a quite high calories and nutrients and the protein and everything, right? You're yeah. Deficient. A, yeah, contest prep. Contest prep. I'll probably, probably start dieting roughly around... Six, six and a half thousand, seven thousand calories. Start dieting on, yeah. And then, right, right now, right now, the base is like four thousand four hundred calories, four thousand five hundred calories. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Are you doing it on your own? Or are you, are you, you? No, out? bro. Uh, is this going? When's this going live? Uh, Sunday. Sunday. Oh, well, not to, no, bro. I'm working with um Stefan. Stefan who? Stefan from um Stefan from Vienna. Yours is coach. Oh, Stefan Kunz or Kunzel or Kunzel? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, bro. So I'm announcing, I'm announcing it on Sunday myself. So I put it out here, you know. Um, Have you been working here this whole time, or or just just? Uh, just since just since I probably say, uh, eight April, March, April. Yeah, since hmm. your response to my gym, um, I wasn't getting coached by no one. I was doing my own thing, and then he said, like, you know. Stefan's interested. Speak to Stefan. So I've done a little bit of research on him. Uh, I was going to see Milos, but he coached Samson, right? So a bit of conflict of interest. So I said, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's Stefan, right. Stefan is the one that also worked with Urs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He, had a, he, so, had, he had a lot of Germans that used to work with him. And uh, yeah, he's, yeah, uh, but, yeah, he's, 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 like, he's not bad. He's like the, um, I like him, bro, because he's into the, like, like, you know, like those guys, European guys, old-fashioned bodybuilding, just conditioned, just dirty, yeah. just granite. That's, plus, that's what I like, you know? Yeah, plus, for these guys, you're not a number. Yeah. They, they take they take their training. You know, It's kind of like Milos, it's the same thing. You, you, he goes in all in. doesn't matter it, right? how many people you have, you know you go all in. I mean, if you can fucking tuck him in at night, that's probably also something that yeah, they Yeah, bro. Do. And it's, it's close, you know? It's only like yeah. a 12-hour a a flight, so just shoot over. Yeah. I see him, and like, and like, he go, he comes here, and I just go back and yeah. forth. Do you think? Do you think that working with him now as a coach, compared to the, the prior coaches, you're going to be better? Is it because of him, I, or is it because of you? Two reasons, bro. I think this is going to be the best Nathan anyone's ever seen, bro. That's yeah. a god's honest truth. I think I'll be as big as New York, but as in shape as California. Hmm. The same year, man. That's that's where we're at, man. Like he's he with when I was when I was with Ascar, man. He he, you know, he he made me work. But right now, I'm getting dragged through the gutter, you know. Fucking, I'm I'm on my I'm on my ass, you know. Like I'm fucking physically, I'm dead. But you know, he he wants to keep keep going and going and getting getting more dirty conditioning, getting better. So I'm into that, you know. I want to keep pushing my body and keep right. pushing it and pushing it and see where see where it can go. So I think. I'll be, I'll be my best, my, my biggest, because you know he's helping me with 
he's helping me with my diet. I've got chemo doing my training still in Kuwait. You know, oh, um, you so, so you you train in Kuwait? No, I'm, I'm in England, but chemo sends me all the workouts over. You know, sends are you serious? Chemo? Yeah, bro. <laughs> really? I remember. Yeah, man. I, I remember chemo wiping off the fucking pads. You know, in the beginning. <laughs> he said, I love I love the guy though, but I remember him wiping off yeah. pads. I don't know. He's a trainer. Yeah, bro. Chemo. Oh, even in uh, when I was in. Um, so you, you have know? someone tell you what to do, and this is how you follow your workouts. You no, know, when I when I first went to Kuwait, our chemo was my translator for all of my. Yeah, because he spoke very good English. But yeah. but here's what I'm asking. This is why this sounds a little strange. Well, he understands, but he's he understands because he's been there from the beginning. He, he, he watched these guys. He he watched me yeah. bring all these guys over. He was fucking cleaning up. He was fucking <laughs> replacing weights. That was his job. Yeah, you man. You know? And, also, uh, and uh, then he was very close. Him and Rami were like, that was like, yeah, you know, two, two right. brothers from another mother. And uh, he just got to learn, you know, that's how everybody yeah. else, that's how everybody yeah. else in Kuwait learned. They didn't know anything was, in 2005, right. first time I went there. And he would pick me up and bring me to Rami's house for some posing. And yeah, shit. yeah. <laughs> So, so, but anyway, so you you you've been training for how many years? Um, train with chemo? No, no, you, you been training? How long? Um, Twenty years? No, nah, about sixteen years. Sixteen, Six, 16 years. years. No. And and, 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 chemo, um, and chemo sent you a, a training program. Only, you only for so chemo sends me my leg, my leg, my leg workouts, and um, legs, um, legs and back thickness only. You know. Yeah. The yeah. rest I just do myself. To me, to me, uh. Him and Roly was the hardest trainers in 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 all of Kuwait. Myself. Who Nathan? That I, that oh, I Kimo. Saw. Nathan and um, yeah. Roly. Yeah. They were the hardest trainers you, in the whole you, gym. You can see when someone trains hard. You can see in his physique that he trains hard or he doesn't. It yeah. shows. It shows. Yeah. And I'm impressed with this video because I don't think you ever your back never looked that good. So, what, nah, bro. what's your body yeah. weight today? Um, right now, 269. Oh, shit. 269. Um, flat, that's dead. 269 after cardio, dead morning weight. Mm. Um, he wants to try and drag me down to like two, 255, 257. Mm. Um, but normally, bro, I'll be honest, like, I think I could get on stage on Sunday, you know? Yeah. Like, I, the pitch, a lot of pictures, you know, with the posting, a lot of the videos um, of me posing. They're like two weeks behind the schedule anyway. Never post them the same day, you know? Mm. Um, so what I've seen today, bro, body fat wise, looking like 7%, 6% right now. Um, that's why I'm looking like fucking like death. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I believe if I change if I change a few things, I could get on stage on Sunday mm. and be probably better than I've been before. But, you know, we've still got three weeks, three days left. Um, it's just, now it's just, bro, just trying to maintain and keep, you know, keep the fullness, but obviously just bring, just bring extra bit of more conditioning. For me, the whole thing is like, because I'm going into vegan, he has them, even when he's fat, bro, he has them crazy ass hamstrings, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have that. I don't have that shit. So I've got to play the game to where I've got to get mine right in, right? And that means me just coming down, coming down and coming down a bit more. So I know I've got that black man look. I ain't going to lose my roundness, mm. the fullness, regardless how small I go. So I'm just gonna just keep pushing it and just keep pushing it and uh, just see where it gets to, man. Right. You, you have a one of all of us favorite physique. I mean, we appreciate you are hashtag bodybuilding. What I talk Thank about. You, brother. Yeah, Thank you, brother. Yeah, you are you are that uh, shape, aesthetics, fullness, size, thickness, X frame, V taper, everything beautiful. I mean, I've seen you in New York when you beat uh, Juan Morel, and yeah. I, I was blown away. Like, oh shit, and you look so <laughs> huge. I mean. It was not just a, yeah, Nathan. That round, that, round, that round ass muscle is like. Holy uh, shit, yeah. But then, yeah, I watch you. Of course, I watch you uh, when Samson's go going against you at uh, uh, British Arnold. And it yeah. was razor close. You know, it was. Close, back, man, yeah. Back before, yeah. And then I, I've seen you last actually in Prague where you plays Ford. But uh, I thought that uh, you were super conditioned in that one. Are you? Yeah, you know, is you and Samson, you and Samson making nice these days? I don't, don't talk, bro. You know, I rate his physique. Sorry to cut you off, Milo. <laughs> bro, you gotta, I respect, I respect the physique. I respect the physique. Everyone knows that, but I don't get on with the guy, you know, personally. But the physique, <laughs> the physique crazy, bro. Like, I, give it I, I, this, I never get this. How can you guys 
not get along. You guys coming from the same country. It's not like there's <coughs> 50, 50 pros from England that are all in the top tier. To get along. <laughs> want to get along. You guys, you guys, make, school, you guys just, make nice. Yeah. I just keep myself to myself. I'm not. I, I don't fuck with the whole bodybuilding shit. You know, it's not my um, cup of tea, bro. I'm just. I come. I do the shows and I just fuck off home. I'm not like in the nitty gritty. Not you, my thing. You rather go on the soccer field. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> football hooligan right <laughs> yeah but it, I, I I just see you know because you guys both from England and you guys should be a tag team man tag I, team I watch, bro I give him his due I watch all his I watch all his Instagram and shit and push, his shows and stuff it would push but, you both I don't understand you. but why, why was there ever an incident that you guys don't get along or is it just uh, not really yeah. not, not really bro um, is it just like comp because it's competition no there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's incidents that happened and then obviously you know, when we were the when we were with the same supplement company, certain certain words were said which I didn't appreciate. You know, but me, uh, by, uh, by the owner, I didn't, didn't appreciate Hold it. On. I, I'm completely confused. Who are you talking about? No, so he's asking. Uh, Dennis asking why we don't why me and Samson uh, don't talk, right? Samson, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I didn't catch that from the very beginning. I I didn't know <laughs> about Regan or, or Samson. No, or, I, I'm close to Regan, bro. Regan's my boy. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, okay. were, you guys were with the same sub. Oh, hostile. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so there was an issue there. There was a little issue. There was a little issue there. Okay. You know, so and I then obviously I didn't know that. Nathan, Nathan, that that's that's the nature of the beast. Because I when I was, you know, back in the day with, uh, you know, Rico and Flex and then like things would be said, things come back to you, things said to the owner, the owner say, hey, they said, he's saying this about yeah. you. But that, shit ha that shit happens, man. I just, I just blew it. I've never even brought it up to him before. So, so, so Samson said something negative about you or the owner? Because nah, bro, there's a, there's a few, there's a few words, there's a few words said. Okay, I, I, we don't know none about that, and we don't have to bring yeah. that up because all I know is because I talked to both of them, and yeah, I yeah. talked to Ford, and Ford never had nothing else but good things to say about you. So yeah, Ford's, Ford's good, bro. But there's a few little things that I didn't, I, I didn't agree with. Yeah, you know, okay. I didn't agree with it. Well, that happens. So I'm, a, I'm a guy of principle, right? So like, okay, that's how you, that's how you wanna, you wanna go. Then cool, you know, just fucking step, I step aside and do my thing. Hmm. You know, um, there's no reason to go on about it. It's all over the water. So I don't really care. Weren't you with Yamamoto before you went to Hostile? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, you went back to Yamamoto. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that's a, well, not, not a lot of people can go back to a supplement sponsor <laughs> that they left it, that they left it's it one smile, point. bro. It's a smile, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, hey, man. that's awesome, though. So you and Regan both with the same sponsor then? then. Yeah, man, me, me and Regan were the same sponsor, bro. Oh, we awesome. do a lot of, we do traveling together. It's good, bro. We'll look. We'll look after. Hey, bro, I, I think. Uh, I think, for real, that this show is going to be the best open bodybuilding show this year, leading up to the Olympia. Of the year. I reckon. It, of I reckon the year. Be, uh, other, the well, other than the Arnold, I'm sorry, I forgot the Arnold. The Arnold. Saturday was good. Sat Sunday was good. Sunday was good. I know, but I think this show, because we got, what is Regan going to look like? Yeah. But he's been gone for a while. What's Nathan going to look like who's been gone for a while? What is fucking um, 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 a, a big Vito or whatever, good Vito, what is he going to look like? What is oh, he's, the main reason, he's the main reason I'm doing both shows. <laughs> what do you mean both shows? What show do you, what, what other show? Spain, I'm doing Italy and Spain. Okay, so which one is first? Uh, Italy. Italy's first and then Spain's the week after. Oh, so you're going back to back. Yeah, bro. Oh. And when is your show? Uh, so everyone keeps saying Big Vito's top five, right? Top five, top five. So when a smoker's ass, then obviously I'm top five, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, put him in a pack and roll him up. And then, bro. And, then, and, then, and, then, and then who else we got? We got Blessing. Nah, no. Blessing's cool, but he, 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 he ain't getting next to me or vegan. I'm, I'm, on, I'm just saying that he's doing the show too. I'm not saying where anybody's place. We got Blessing. Italy? Blessing's doing it. Um, and then yeah. you've got to the, another Yamamoto guy is doing it. Um, and then a few, like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think there's a couple of guys from Germany. Yeah. Must huh? It's Must see TV. Oh, um, oh, Vlad's doing it. Vlad. That's what I'm saying. Big Vito. Uh, yeah, good, yeah. good Vito, then call him. Yeah, Vlad, Vlad's doing it. The guy oh, from, no, no, no. Yeah. You're talking about Vlad Sukaruchko or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the Ukrainian guy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's talk about Flat for a second. I've seen this guy so many times. When he posts something on Instagram, that dude looks like he's fucking the freakest really? of all freaks. <laughs> and when he steps on stage, I don't see that no more. What's Changes, right? Well, I don't know, but in person, he's a freak, right? I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. I saw him in India. The dude looks fucking humongous. He competed two or three weeks later, and I was like, he didn't even place top five. That's yeah. If a Zeke don't, if Victor, if a Zeke don't go well on stage, you know, he's yeah, a freak. Yeah, sometimes it don't translate the same, you know, and there's a lot yeah. of people super impressive in person, and you get on stage. I mean, I, I don't think I was that impressive in person, but I, I thought when I get on stage, you know, my body would transform into that. Yeah. You were a freak, Chris. You were a freak, bro. That's how I start. But, you know, I always, I always uh, appreciated uh, you, Nathan. You know, when I first went to Kuwait, like you was like the first one to start, you know, talking to me and like showing Dan, and like telling me the do's and the don'ts and the points <laughs> and, the, and the shits and the food and the, all that shit. I always appreciated that shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do a lot of, a lot of training, a lot of hanging. Did, yeah, bro. Did, didn't you, did, didn't you train or stay in Abu Dhabi for a while? Me? Yeah. Or was that yeah, was, or was that William? I was there last I was there last year, right? Um, literally at the end at the end of the year. Um, like November. I was there for the uh the um Dubai Dubai Muscle Show. Dubai Pro, mm -hmm. yeah. And then I was there for the F for the F1. Um I was stuck there to be honest. Um I got I got I got robbed, right? I got my wallet robbed, my passport robbed. Where? And they, in Abu Dhabi. No, really? Yeah, bro. I was, that's, I was the that's the safest place in the world. Yeah. Oh, I was shit, Rob, bro. I had no passports, no <laughs> bank card, no Apple Pay. Bro, no I nothing, swear to God. Bro. I swear to God. I have my phone in a wallet with all my good credit cards in here. I left that shit. I went at the hotel in, in Dubai. Dubai. In Dubai. Difference. Yeah, but Abu Dhabi is the same, man. They, they yeah, should be. Bro. They, they, they just, they, they robbed me, bro. <laughs> like, I was gone. Like... Two minutes, I put my suitcase, I put my suitcase in my room. I came off my other suitcase and it was gone. My wallet was gone, bro. It was gone two minutes. I waited for the I waited for the driver. I was sitting outside front of the hotel. They had some chairs and tables and I left it. And I must have left that thing on the table, right? And I got in the car. After 20 minutes, I'm gonna get I get out the taxi and I wanna get my phone, make sure I have my phone. I was like, fuck my phone. I look at the car. Fuck. I left it at the hotel. And this hey. driver, this driver, super cool. Let's okay, no problem. We drive back. It's gonna be, st it's still there. I was fucking stressing all the way to the hotel. Yeah. I was like, hell, I, Chris, you know how that goes. Remember when you lost? Hell, your <laughs> yeah. That is I, I got sweaty when you start yeah. talking like that. Sa same feeling, same feeling I had in New York. Oh man, I was dead. So I go bro. back, the phone laying right there. They said you can leave your shit and they do and they, they do a test. Because yeah. I'm I'm really surprised you got robbed in Abu Dhabi, man. Got robbed, bro. In the in Dubai, I left it in, in a hotel room for like on a, a hotel lobby for like six hours. And it was still there. Came back, it was still there. In the in Abu Dhabi, bro. Two minutes I was gone for boom, in, in, the, in the hotel. Yeah, man. I was outside. I was gone. As you know, as you put as you pull up to the um the, the car place, it was gone, man. It was gone. I had to, I had to, I had to get one of the guys to fly on home with a with a um, passport photo and then get his brother to fly back a week later with a um with, with a two weeks in with a passport to get so he could get home there's, in the US there's no UK there's no British in, embassy in, in, in the Yeah UAE? but the wait the wait was um six weeks. Oh. <laughs> six weeks <laughs> people always ask how I got here. I was willing to work just a little harder than everyone else. Every damn day if i can have hundreds of hours back you know i'm gonna grab them spending hours prepping chicken rice and vegetables f that i rely on perfect nutrition i rely on trifecta wow <laughs> I, 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 so, so so it was in the hotel where you got robbed yeah what did the hotel do did they compensate you nothing bro nothing nothing I had some of the guys from the gym helped me go to the police station and stuff and back and forth, but I had no joy, bro. And I had to cancel my Apple Pay because all my credit cards are on Apple Pay, right? If I didn't cancel it, then obviously I'd, get, I'd be fucked. I wasn't insured, so I had to cancel Apple Pay. That means I couldn't spend no money. And then Vlad was helping me out to send the money to Vlad so he could get me out the wall so I could buy food and shit. It was fucking it was a nightmare, bro. Damn.
I'm surprised because I would have said <laughs> this is the safest place in the world when it comes to being robbed, you know, thieves and stuff like that. I mean, they have them, but they know yeah. if they get caught, yeah. they're in fucking trouble. Yeah, up bro. Until now, I would think the same. You know, up until uh, I hear this from Nate, yeah. I would think that uh, UAE is the safest. Yeah, Damn. bro. I've left, I've left it everywhere. I've left my watches on tables, in restaurants, come back, I've got it. That was in Dubai, though, in Abu Dhabi. One time I left my wallet, it, it was gone. But no, hey. one was even, no one was even in sight, though. No one was even there. It's, it's hey, still like Nathan, let me coach you and just hang around you. You're going to leave your watch, your wallet, your everything. I'll just be there to uh, accidentally pick it up. Yeah. And throw away. <laughs> what are you doing leaving the stuff, man? Keep the stuff. <laughs> Bro, just stupid, right? Like sometimes, cause, cause you think it's safe. You like you leave your wallet there, and you're not, you're not looking at it, you're not checking it, you're not, you, you're not, you're not bothered, and you know it's always there, Milos. You know you, it's always there. But this time, bro, fuck that, <laughs> never, yeah. never again. I'm really, <laughs> I'm, I'm really surprised that the hotel didn't say compensate you that you stay until everything is solved. And nah, bro, they wouldn't even let me um, free food. They wouldn't even let me check in the, they wouldn't even let me check in the room because again. When my when my um stay had finished because where, I had no idea. Where did you stay, man? What hotel was that? I mean, <laughs> the, fa um, the Fairmont. Huh? The Fairmont. The Fairmont. Yeah, bro. You told them as a listen. All my shit was stolen. I don't. I, I'm John Doe. Yeah. I'm John Doe, like a motherfucker right now. <laughs> help, help, help a brother I, out. They didn't. I had my pass. I had my passport on my phone, and they said that doesn't do it. Like that doesn't cut. Like, that, that's me, right? That's my passport. Mm. That's me. Wouldn't let me wouldn't let me check in, so I was staying in like the cleanest hotel, the cleanest apartments and shit. <laughs> just just like pure base hopping. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. But listen, Dennis, because you 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 started this, I, I just wanna. I started what? <laughs> what? You, you started with uh, Nathan transforming like uh, in in a weeks. Yeah. This is this is freakish shit. I mean, we are we are in uh, this forever and ever. We don't see people transform like this. Now, no. you have ability to. Build muscle, it's one thing, but then you have ability also to burn fat like crazy. You know, this is what it seems uh, that you train four weeks in a whole year, and then <laughs> right now you're already bigger and better than ever. I gotta I confess, mean, that happen? I have to confess because I follow Nathan and I watch his stuff. You said and there's I, no way he'll make it. I, I told myself, <laughs> he ain't gonna make it. <laughs> I, and you know what? And I've seen it happen how many times already? But this time I'm looking at him. I'm like, yeah, he's not going to compete. And I watch because I said, because you know, when you fall, you were, you're full, but you weren't in, in, in. And now I fucking saw this video. I was like, is this shit from fucking last prep or two preps ago? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, sorry. because I, I let me tell you, when I, when I see Nathan uh, in Dubai, you know, because I heard all the rumors, no way he's going to compete. He's fat, right? <laughs> and then uh, I came to Nathan and said, competing? Uh, yeah, he's playing too. I said, but, but there's only like three weeks or something. I say, you know, don't worry. I get in shape fast. Like, oh, <laughs> he, he normally does it. His normal diet is what, five, six weeks? Yeah, five, six weeks with no cardio. But this time, though, <laughs> I've done cardio. I've done cardio. I How don't is know. possible? Yeah, then Dexter was like that back in the day. He was yeah. like, I ain't got no cardio. Then I, I do, said, um, I do, I do, I do, <laughs> I do 20, I do tw 20 minutes, 20 minutes a day. Right now? This considered cardio yeah, yeah. for you? That's a warm up. Yeah. But that, but the thing is, he used to do um, <laughs> uh, he used to do uh, uh, marathons, so cardio <laughs> shouldn't be nothing for him. Who Nathan? Yeah. yeah. No shit. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Man, I've I've seen seen eyes. yeah man. Just before, well, just as I was turning pro, I done the London Marathon, five hours. Yeah man. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I done the London Marathon, and then two weeks later, I turned pro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. He, yeah, he came out of nowhere. I go, all of a sudden, there was a Nathan. I was like, well, Nathan, who? <laughs> Na Na Nathan, yeah, he, bro. Came out, he came out of nowhere, all right. Out of nowhere, all of a sudden, he this was time, there. This time, bro, difference. Like, I do a bit of, I do a bit of cardio this time, which is different. I um, I've took fat banners for the first time this year. I've never, I'm took them in the past what six years. I haven't took them. You know, I'll take a little bit of clenbuterol, um, T3 this time. I've, I've never took them while I was in Kuwait. Or nothing. Um, so this time, bro, and you know, my waist, my waist went a little bit big two years ago. I admit that. But I'm back down to my old waist, to where you see, you guys see me at the New York Pro my first year. I mm. believe it's probably a little bit tighter than that now. Oh really? Um, yeah, man. So, like, 
things that I haven't done for a long time, I've done. I was a little bit scared, to be totally honest, because when I got to um, 300 not pound, I was shitting myself because I didn't think that I could get in shape because I was a bit of a fat motherfucker, you know? Hmm. So I was, a bit, I was a bit wary. But then obviously, you know, Stefan said, look, bro, don't worry about it. Just eat, eat. And he even, you know, he even allowed me to still eat my curries and my kebabs and shit. And he said, look, was when we diet, we diet yeah, properly. But, but what's wrong with the kebab? Is, is it, uh, it's it's meat. meat. Yeah, it's, I, that's what I say it's meat, right? I say it's meat. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, you're not you, you're not putting loaves of bread around it or whatever. Yeah, but he says I uh, I eat too I eat too much, man. <laughs> I eat too much meat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. So so it looks. I have, I have to. Huh? I have to throw this in because it's now that you said. I remember uh, Jerry Rogers. Uh, he won oh, yeah. US. San Diego. Yeah, he was he was training in a gym in San Diego. So he goes to Burger King and had that uh, Whopper, right, with the French fries and all this shit. He said, man, what kind of diet is that? He said, hey, man, beef is beef, potato is potato. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like, it looks like your, your, mission, your mission this time is just to prove a point. Yeah, bro, prove a point. Um, and then if the luck I bring, if I, the luck I bring... In three weeks, if I, you know, believe I'm in that talk for top six Olympia, then I'll attend the Olympia, bro, regardless. Um, so, so you're not going to compete now just to qualify for the Olympia? You just want to prove uh, a point, and you haven't even made well, up your mind if you would go? No, I am just want to prove a point, brother. Listen, bro, you, people make people may say I'm old and washed up, and I've had two biceps, I can't come back. But that just makes me drive even more. And, you're, you know, financially, bro, if, if, if like... If I'm not getting top six Olympia, then what the fuck's the point? Oh, but let's you know? but let's keep it real here for a second. Do you believe? Do you don't believe that you are top six material? I do. So but, what? So what? Are you, why you have to see in three weeks? I I believe in top. I believe in top five, bro. Personally, I believe. I, I believe you can be top three. I, I believe you can be top three. You know, if you you're fucking top nail top it, a hundred percent. I believe. Could you? I be, Make that art with your structure, Listen, your body, just keeping a tight waist. Exactly, structure. We're talking about structure. I mean, look, yeah. look, Nick Walker that's, got third. He doesn't have the best structure. And that's what that, that that's why I chose this now to compete, right? Because you look at Samson, you look at Andrew Jack, bro, and it's all now it's all about shape, bro. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, obviously it, Samson. It obviously, look Samson's, better, a, obviously Samson's a mass monster, but he still got shape, bro. He still has nice lines, he's still in proportion, he's still got that nice flow. Same with Andrew Jackson. You know, that's why I think that I'll suit, I'll suit well. So for me, like, if I'm thinking, yeah, I can get there, then, just, bro, I'm just going to, I'm so, not even going to tell no but, one. Yeah, but don't, tell no don't one. you I'm think, don't you think now you can get there? I mean, you will still have, you will still have, te this Saturday will be 10 weeks to the Olympia. Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. But like I said, bro, like, if I look at myself and I'm honest, right? If I, if I think to myself, wow, fucking, I, I can't get next to Andrew or I can't get next to Samson, then I'll be like, I see where I'm at, right? But if I do, like I said to um, Stefan, bro, like, I won't tell no one I'm attending. I'm just going to turn up on Wednesday and sign the paperwork, bro, and just walk in. You know, just going to not say I'm doing it. People are going to ask me, you're doing it, you're doing it. I'm not going to say yeah or no, and then just fucking turn up on a the, on the Wednesday and happy to meet him. You know, but I believe what, what we're doing now is capable, what I've seen is capable of um, top six, top five, I believe. Hmm. But listen, you're gonna have to sign an Olympia contract. It's not like oh, you yeah, can't. I know, I know. So but they won't tell. They won't tell no one. But, but <laughs> Nathan, I mean, but, this you, is, but yeah, but you, uh, but you'll be on the list of of yeah, of yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah but then people be, fuck, you'll listen, be Nathan, 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 you'll be on a qualified list. Nathan, fuck it. You win these shows, you go into the fucking Olympia. Come on, man, don't give me that shit. <laughs> For real. I mean, you you missed now. How you missed the last one or two yeah, years ago? More, bro. Four, man. Yeah, but you qualified and didn't and didn't go to the Olympia. Yeah, this year is different, man. This year is different, you know, for myself. Yeah. Um, you know, this year, this, this is why now I'm positive. You know, like I said, like I'll be going regardless, man. Like I'll I, I, I'll be if I make it and people like this, what we bring, I'm going regardless. You know. Yeah. Shit. You that's need, that's, yeah. that's the main thing, bro. I've got to be I've got to be happy with with myself. You know, and I'm honest, bro. Like if if I believe I'm not with the guys, then I'm not with them, you know, but I believe right now, bro, even if I take my clothes off now, bro, like, I can stand with 
the best of them, you know. Um, I can't stand with Andrew Jackson's fucking relaxed pose. Fuck that motherfucker. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but when I come to a lot spread, I'm I'm I'm, I'm there. Yeah. You know, he can't he can't take that pose from me. But them front shots are fucking crazy. <laughs> but listen, but look, was that? Let's talk about Andrew while we while we there. Was Andrew at his all time best uh, on Saturday? Yeah. Milos. I would say yeah. Chris. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was his best. Look. Okay, so now, and Hunter gave him a serious run for his money. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like Hunter at the last show better than this. Show. I mean, I, but I, I like, but I, I like, but it, it's just I think he got ex, got some of the body parts. I get, I'm not even talking about this. I'm just talking about okay, the okay. judges. The judges oh. were not convinced who's winning until they did four additional rounds at the confirmation round. Well, right. but they, they still look. Uh, um, Andrew was at his all-time best. He was a little bit bigger and just as conditioned, or very close to uh, Arnold Classic. Yeah, uh, yeah, I believe that. I believe that too. You know, he, uh, he only had a one guy to compete against. I mean, uh, uh, Labrada. So, and Labrada is, you know, vastly improved. And when you look at the, per square inch, right? The uh, if you just we all like shape. I'm talking about. And, and what what we talk about width to the waist ratio, to X frame and all that yeah. stuff. So when you when you do the uh, uh, Andrew Jack and Le Labrada is actually wider and uh, probably more X frame than uh, uh, Andrew Jack. And if you shut the lights and you look at the silhouettes, you could go to Labrada, but turn the lights on. And then when you see all this crazy detail, abs that chiseled, you know, uh, chest looked like a goddamn plastic, <laughs> you know, and all this shit, right? It's very hard to to be convinced. So for me, it was not close. Mm -hmm. I mean, Labrada was great, but there was never a question who wins. Front uh, double by front relaxed Andrew. Front uh, double biceps Andrew. Front last spread, okay Andrew. Even though Labrada spread a little bit more, it's still Andrew. Which I thought that he's going to lose side chest and side triceps uh, from um, Labrada. It actually, uh, before the show, I was thinking Labrada is going to take it because he has a crazy side tricep. Uh, but and he switched the style of it. Why, why would he not go from the classic tricep shot to the same one that, that uh, Andrew was doing? That was a oh, by the way, did well, you, did because you the, one, the one Andrew is doing is not really a mandatory pose. I know, no. but it, I'm just saying no. it's not a classic tricep shot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Him. But if you, very, come on, if you do your sh classic shot and then you... Change to that standing. I never done that shot myself. But, but why is that? Why 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 athletes do that? Because they don't. This is not. You don't have to worry they, about they, controlling they, the midsection. Did you guys listen to Tyler Mannion's uh, Instagram post yesterday? I, yeah. I I saw it, but I didn't finish it. Okay, so, so on that post, he's calling each and every pose. What do we want in front of the bicep? Da 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 da, and to the side tri side triceps and side triceps. He wants. Side triceps pose, not the front triceps. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so these, these are the kind of things. So Andrew looks phenomenal in this front uh, uh, triceps that he does, but he didn't do the the side triceps. So how do you judge? Yeah, but so I, but let me ask you this then: if that's the if that's what he's saying as a judge, mm -hmm. that means if he's not doing that pose and he's doing that front triceps pose, he's already losing that shot. Possibly, but listen, these kind of debates are good to, to have. Yeah. But I, listen, if you, uh, I was just thinking about this. Every mandatory pose should be hit for a certain amount of seconds. Like, okay, let's say five seconds or should, ten seconds. It should whatever. be hit until they call the next pose. Yeah, but, but listen, how we like to do the secondary pose in different variation. I say, okay, wait, 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 wait. How many times do you see side triceps like this? One second into the side and straight into the front. Uh, or the ab shot. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about anyway, let's let's talk about abs and thighs. Abs and thighs, the mandatory pose should both hands over overhead. Yeah. And how come and there's still guys? Like, yeah, like how come it's still guys that know that their ab shot sucks and they turn to the <laughs> side and do this? That should not that shouldn't be allowed either. That should I not be allowed. I've seen this forever, but but wait, wait, wait. I can tell That's you right saying, right now. The ab shot. Yeah, That's I all three. Plus, right. But now I can uh, tell you three guys right now that never done an app shot in their life I know, on stage. I know. And I had this I had this conversation with one. I said, listen, isn't that a mandatory pose? So how come people get away with just doing hey. this so they, they can hide their 
They're missing winning a shot. Shot. Winning a show to you. Did Arnold Schwarzenegger ever do the same? Yeah, but I don't. I don't even go for that. I don't even want to go. go I don't want to go that far back. I'm going as far as last Saturday. I know. Oh, holy hell. <laughs> well, uh, here's the news. Tyler Mannion says that it's okay to do with the two arms and the one arm. And aside, this was surprising to me. But that if you if his last post on the Instagram go uh, pose by pose. He says it's okay if you do it with the two arms or one, which you know I personally don't agree with. But oh well. Oh, he also oh, so they said this is okay to do it. Yeah, okay. I you know I, but I then, wouldn't expect. But it then that's that. that's not a front shot. That's a side shot. Side shot. Yes, I uh, I agree with you. I mean, so uh, if I if I can Donald's do everything, if I can do these things from the side, I can hide my weakness. And I remember we had Steve on. And Steve said that's yeah. why they do the mandatory poses because you can't hide no weaknesses. weaknesses. Yeah, I agree. Right. That's yeah. right. You're so right. So if you give me the, op the option to do it sideways, I will hide that waist all <laughs> day, every day. <laughs> Open the door when you talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So no, yeah, but I mean, I mean, I get it. If they're telling people, it means other guys can do it too. But but, but Dennis, the whole point that you're trying to make. As good as Andrew, this is the best Andrew ever. He hardly passed by a, a hunter, right? Yes, that that was my yeah. thing. So because you said I can't stand, yeah. I can't stand next to Andrew doing the front relax. Listen, Hunter gave him a run for his money. It wasn't them fucking walk in the park. It was literally, <laughs> and I know it was literally that close. I mean, they had to they compared him se point. several times at prejudging and the confirmation round. They called the last call out. Those two. Four individual right. times, the four fucking rounds. Because at the end of the day, when you get Dude. when you get that close and you're not really can't make up your mind because yeah. everybody has some good things, you let them pose until one fucking fade. starts to fade. Yeah, but that's and that's fade, what I thought. And I that's saw. how that's how that's, that's I think what I, that's, what, that's I what decided that hunters get second because hunters started sweating, started letting yeah, the stomach go a little bit. And that's what I was seeing. Uh, and Dennis. Andrew was there like a fucking statue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, Dennis. Is yeah. uh, you know, and that that comes with, you know, that those grueling sessions, day after day, those grueling sessions. Yeah. You know, and you, yeah. you know, he's doing that. That's the difference. Anyway, and that's that's the some of the shots I started to see, Dennis. Is uh, some of the faded shots, and then that's what I that's what I said. I mean, some of those got exposed at that time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, back double biceps of Labrada was state of the art. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you've seen it, especially like, uh, a couple of weeks ago, he was in the Ben Pakuska gym, and that uh, back double biceps, you know. But it's a, gr that. it's a great light, too. That. It's a <laughs> <laughs> that, that light, that back double biceps in, in MI40, yeah. didn't translate to the stage. I mean, I, I know, but he that, was that's probably he's, one of the, his back. It's impossible to beat. That, yeah. that was like. Derek, Derek Lansworth yeah. with uh, with uh, better better arms. You think it was because of the stage light, or you think he was a little more flat going into the show? Hey, hey listen, we all peak, mm -hmm. guys. We, we all peak, guys, flat. right? It's hard to to really hundred percent peak. You know, at any point before there are moments when oh they look phenomenal. I'm sure that Nathan sometimes looks oh I want to be on the stage right fucking now, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, everything is happening. But then you, you want to just conservatively, okay, I'm going to get a little bit drier. I'm not going to go crazy here. And then it doesn't translate perfectly on the stage. Right? You are still great. You kind of better safe than sorry. So you don't yeah. push it, right? Right. But when you're a few days out, you can kind of push it and see where you're at. Yeah. Uh, I'm no, fucking, I don't, I don't think I have, they haven't been this, have been this excited about a show than the next one in, in, in Europe. Because yeah. I, I really, I can't wait. And this is going to be one of them shows oh, that man. I'm going to buy the damn live stream and watch that <laughs> shit. <laughs> what time of day I, is going to be? On? I bought the live stream for, for Texas, too. You know? Yeah. I, 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 I support the industry. They got $50, <laughs> was, they got $50 out of me for, for Friday and Saturday. At the UFC, that's why. <laughs> I couldn't the UFC, man. Well, see, I, I don't pay for the UFC, so that's why I can afford to pay for the... I have to be pro league. Oh man! I support the pro league still. That's a bad. Pro league, pro league. Well, I had a question for Nathan, and just fucking slipped my mind, man. But but on that note, let's talk about hashtag bodybuilding. This is what I was saying. 
let's bring that beauty of the bodybuilding. It's yeah. kind of yeah. classic open, okay? It's open, but we want to see classic physique like mm -hmm. in blown up proportion. You know, this, this is what for me bodybuilding is all about. And Nathan, you have one of those. You know, that's for sure. I thought so, this, this whole time last year, from last year, from the last time Nathan competed when he did all those shows in Europe, won almost yeah. all of them and then ended up fourth, you know, who was pissed. Yeah. I remember you were mad as hell. Um, and that's when then we saw the transformation of, of, of Samson, the flash. Yeah. He transformed to a different bodybuilder, absolutely. Went in the Arnold. And remember, and we had... And we, huh? He became a freak then. Yeah, and I remember yeah, we, we only had a seven well, weeks for, for that show. Yeah, seven weeks before the show with you, we only had a seven weeks, and then so, you just uh, you know, and I, that was close. So I remember. So I remember when I, at one at one episode we had we talked about Samson, and then I brought up Nathan. I was like, remember when I asked, can Nathan even beat Samson again now? You know, because we didn't see nothing from Nathan. Nathan would disappear. He had his <laughs> biceps tears. So now it's like. Okay, so now you slowly start to say, okay, maybe he's fading out, you know? Yeah. So now... I'll just keep him my head down, bro. Just, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't post too much on social. How, do I, how, right? how old are you, Nathan? Yeah. Uh, 37. 37. So he's still young. So listen, so now I see this fucking idiot. <laughs> and I look at this fucking video and I'm like... That's, that's a mature... If he looks like this all around, He's gonna. He can stand with any of those guys. Yeah, any I'm of them. I don't care how much bigger somebody is. How my much? My front's better than my back, bro. Yeah, your front is even back, better than my back. Better, my front's better than my back. I won't. I always. Chris told me this one time, bro. Always, always show your shittest body part. If they like it, then they best be scared of the of the, of the good part. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what that's what Chris told me, bro. And he, <laughs> is, he, hey, he me, is is that why is that why Chris always did a front lat spread? <laughs> I don't care where you put me. I can stand on my head and I'm the like Murray style. Yeah, I think y'all looking good anyway. Yeah. Any show. <laughs> no, but this is fucking exciting, man. This is exciting. Yeah, it is. I'm really happy for you, uh, Nathan. Man. Good show. I think yeah. you deserve it, brother. Everyone, everyone's up for it. You know, everyone's fired up. Yeah, is, Re think... is Regan doing both shows too? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, he, 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 I think he's flying over tomorrow, right? No, 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 no. He's he's flying tonight into the Vegas. He was in uh, in uh, tomorrow. We are training chest. Yeah. So the, yeah, he he was in Canada for a week. Yeah. He. I thought I thought he was going to the Masters Olympia. No. No, 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 no. no. Why, why, why would he go there? And the manager Matt is going there with with the. Uh, I thought he was going with Jay. With, with Jay, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try to convince Jay to do like three minutes routine. Yeah. <laughs> is he guest posing? He doesn't does supposed to, but you know, come on. Hey, he did this he change, you know, fit for 50. He looks great. He, he's going to have to pose. I mean, uh, you know. Huh. Last time when he he was in Romania, you know, I should have compete, but I, I told you I missed it because I was painting him, and then I didn't have a time to put the, to shave my back in, in uh, 2006. She just went out there, dude. Huh? She just went out there. Harry and all. Harry back. You place I mean, better than what you did. Back. It's like you would place better than what you did. Is, was <laughs> Milos? Was that that year where you took a picture next to him showing the abs? Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. Yeah, okay. Hold on. You, you were you it's were in uh, no no no. Let me just remind you. You were in Austria in the Vienna, right? Yeah. Dennis, and you decided not to go to Romania, right? I don't remember. Yeah. I don't. I don't yeah, that's that's for sure. That's for sure. You know, for whatever reason, you didn't go, mm. and I'm going there just with the heater, right? And uh, we had a banquet in uh, in Vienna, and I had like eight I, apples. I, Milos, I don't know if that was the same year because I I don't see why I would do Austria, but then then not go to Romania if there's a show the following week. Okay, uh, Jake Arthur won that show, right? What show? Yeah, yeah. the in in oh. Vienna. Yeah, that was two thousand six. Yeah. This, That's two thousand six. Yeah, hundred percent guarantee. Because two thousand seven, I was suspended. Two thousand six, <laughs> Romania. <laughs> for, for from there, and this is the, one of the reasons you didn't go, and somebody asked. So I only had a heater to take care of. I said, okay, you know, I get there early. I shave my front, shave my legs. Are you sure? You sure that was two thousand six? Two thousand six guarantee. Yeah. Because this, is, like this book, is when Jay Cutler beat Ronnie at the Olympia. I know, and, right? the, and then we went and to, Aust we went to Austria. 
We went to Austria. Yeah, we went to Austria, yeah. when and that shit was Romania. That was when Marcus Rule looked like a fucking super freak. Too. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the show. But and I, I don't know why Marcus didn't go, why you didn't go to Romania. Nobody was going to Romania. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, you didn't. <laughs> uh, hey, I must. I'm, hey, I must have had a prior commitment. <laughs> I really don't remember. I really don't remember. All right, but yeah. yeah. But anyway, but, hey, so yeah, Jay oh. Cutler is gonna put probably guest pose, you know. And he should give this to the fans. You see how good he looked uh, next to Regan. Yeah. In in, uh, I mean, he. Come yeah. on, yeah. You know, I'm gonna tell him today, Jay. That might be the last time you're gonna be on the stage. If you, you know, come on, you are ripped to the bone. Hey, listen, I pull his shirt. You can't grab the skin. Feathers on the quads and everything else. You know, Jesus. Right? I saw so, yeah. I saw the podcast you guys did, I don't know from when, where he is yeah. talking about coming off everything, not even doing TRT. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. I'm I, like, I when I listen to this, and, and I, I saw it from some other podcast, they kind of did, did a, like, I don't know, they talked about it and they, they kind of uh, played it. I didn't, see, I didn't see the podcast itself. So, and then I was like, it almost sounds to me like you know he well, he he, don't, because he fucking went so far just to get into shape that he feels so guilty right now. He said, "You better come off of everything." <laughs> he's doing, a, he's hey, doing a touch of it, you know, the touch of Anavar, touch of test. But listen, when he was saying that he was in your dosage, one twenty-five times, uh, you know, twice, uh, his testosterone was two thousand eight hundred from from two <laughs> from two fifty a week. <laughs> I said, hey, that doesn't happen. <laughs> I just, you know, I just did fucking physical last last week Friday. I did my. Do you have eight hundred? My aunt, no shit annual physical. See, I'm doing two hundred milligrams a week now, for yeah. for six weeks, straight, never stopped, until, well, I did my physical Friday, and the Monday be. I usually always do it on Monday, right? So I had my physical Friday, but the Monday before, I said, I'm going to skip the shot. So I skipped the shot literally almost two weeks, almost two weeks before. And I was 495. Yeah. Gee. Gee. So uh, I think, I think. The dosage. No. I, <laughs> the, the last time I did, I did blood work. I didn't stop, you know, so I was, I probably did a shot like four, six, four, five, six days prior, and I was at 600. Yeah, 6,800, yeah. So, but I think, I think that, you know, if you take Cipionate, how long does it take for the Cipionate to come out of or just to slow down out of your system? Because you spike, and then you yeah. drop. So two weeks, you should yeah, be on the bottom. At this uh, age. <laughs> huh? At this age. <laughs> no, 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 but just one shot. How long? How long do you think it would would, would last? Yeah, 10, 10 to fourteen days, like you know, seven days going up and then levels and then go down. So yeah. which so which means that it, but it, for me it was like what was it like 10, 12 days? I should mm -hmm. be that 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 cipinate shouldn't even be in my system or not show in the blood work. A little bit. I mean that that's why you're maintaining. 495, otherwise you would probably be under. But listen. But here's, my, here's what I'm trying to say. Here's what, what I'm trying to say, and this is what Jay was talking about. He thinks he doesn't need TRT. You know? And it, 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 that's what I was going to get to, and that's why I think when, it depends on the person that he might be right, because I think if I don't take nothing, that my levels will not go below 400 or maybe 350. I don't know. Because I know I, I know that I was at a way lower level like uh, six years ago. Where no. I, where I had to I went through the same thing that Jay was talking about. He doesn't feel any different from taking it or not taking it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know Milos yeah. Milos does he doesn't agree with this because he thinks you know <laughs> if you want to feel a different you got to go up yeah. there you got to knock on the door <laughs> up there. <laughs> Hey, I know one one <laughs> shot makes me say things I normally wouldn't say. <laughs> I confess, listen, <laughs> that, that was the time I was completely off, you know, for a prolonged period of time, and I didn't really feel much different, I, I have to say. But then when you start using it again, like, oh, you can feel. I said every man should be at a 1,000. 
Anybody that goes under thousand has to go straight to the clinic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then why? If that would be the case, why the doctors don't prescribe it to you if you're in the five? I don't know, you know, because uh, you know. We are, we are living in I a, was I was a hoping man. I was hoping and that's why I, I stopped that. that's why I didn't take the shot the week before because I was hoping that my test would be low so I can you know get prescription for for tests from my yeah. from my primary care physician you know she's a girl you know so I was like look here man my shit my shit is uh, <laughs> so my shit like a soft boy noodle I got like a soft boy noodle I said you need to hook a brother up with some of that you know what I'm saying? that compounded that? stuff I need that compounded yeah. stuff yeah, when, but no, but my, my CRT even start. Do you know? Uh, do you, you think? Know? Do you guys think that? Because I thought I always thought that once you you know when you have a career and you you know you abuse steroids, you know you destroy your own testosterone production. Plus age, you put that together. That's just you know you set yourself up for low testosterone for the rest of your life. Can testosterone recover? I mean, it could, it would be lowered. Listen, mm. look, ideally, Lower just normal, normal person is going to decline with the age. Right, it's right. Decline with the age. So I don't know, you know, some great lovers, right, back in the day, they might have a, Flick, much so much like, 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 like Flex Wheeler, who's, who needs it six times a day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you know that. But, but listen, yeah. Uh, you know how I, I, I think I said this story, how I found out about testosterone first time? My, my father is a doctor, so he had the in Yugoslavia back in the day that doctor's uh, bag that they go to the house, right? You know, so I always like to snoop around, and then when he was not there, I open it, I look, 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 and say, oh, you know, you know, testosterone, huh. testosterone, testosterone in every language, right? Right. <laughs> okay, it just it intrigues me. I, of course, I was like six, seven year old kid. I don't remember, right? But uh, when he came back home, right, and I said, hey, Dad. You know, what is testosterone, right? <laughs> so, of course, there was no internet back in the day, right? It's not like there was some books around that I could read and I say, how do you know about testosterone? Right? So, and, you know, I tried to lie, you know, not to say that I, I saw it. But, you know, he figured me out. He's Dr. Science of Neuropsychiatry. He immediately got it. Mm. So, you went to my back. And then he explained to me, right? Like, okay, as this male hormone testosterone that declines as we age. And that was... I was six, seven years old, so 1970, okay? He said, yeah, and, you know, if people could replenish what is declining by using testosterone therapy. He was doing this back in the 70s, right. okay? So I heard this from my father back in the 70s, right? I didn't hear about mm. TRT here until like 2000-something. Huh. When, when, when did the yeah, so, so you know, I, I would say, you know, uh, my Siri. Tell Siri to shut up. Chris, you said you don't take any TRT, right? No. And your test is at 300? 350, yeah. So you're still good. That's what they say. You still, you still, you still, you still, you still in range. But I think if I was at three, yeah. if I was at 350 or 300, I could tell my doctor. I would just break. I would just. Yeah, I, I would. I would just I run could. down all the symptoms. You know. I was I like, could. man, I, I can't even stay awake when I'm driving my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so why are you not going on TRT? Uh, I like. I, I explained that when. Uh, when. Um, I don't remember you said. Oh, something. just. I feel like something happens when I started taking stuff, and I just like. It's just better for me not to, unless I get that understood. Uh, understood my DHT levels and all that stuff. Why don't you try with the uh, with the cream? You know, just go slow. Go slow. Yeah, I tried that. I tried that. Yeah. Tried. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like Chris is scared to test. <laughs> you probably hey he don't he don't want to go not, he don't want to go back to the old Chris. That's what it I is. don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> back to I would got into it last night if I, I would have been on. I will, I I will right never now. forget. I will never forget one thing that Chris told me. I will never forget that. And I said this to a hundred thousand people in the meantime. 
He said to me one time, he said, fucking testosterone is a hormone you can't fight. <laughs> <laughs> Not fight the hormone, exactly. <laughs> I don't even try it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Milos, could you see yourself without TRT? I could, yeah. I mean, yeah. If I say, but, but I'm honest to myself. So, Am I afraid? Listen, oh, and I said that many times. All the drug-free guys mm. are drug-free because they're afraid of uh, health consequences. Mm. They don't know, mm. right? Mm. This, this is why they're drug-free. I've been using this since 1987, right? And I, I'm dead serious <laughs> that many times. I didn't have a single side effect that I... I should be scared of that injection of a synthol or whatever. That's a completely different story. Mm -hmm. That was uh, uh, administration went wrong. You know, no, so. that was that was your ex-wife tried to kill you. <laughs> 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 she's drawn. She's, yeah. a, she's just checking. Yeah. Oh, there's some blood. Let me get oh, Let me just give him yeah. all of it. <laughs> but but uh, let, let's go back to Nathan. Nathan, I see that you inhaled your meal, which is you know. I wish you you were slow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what did you have? I was trying to to look at the. the oh no! Uh, the only, um, <laughs> Milo, only, Milo. Chi only chicken and rice, bro. Chicken and rice. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was quick. Chicken and rice does it. Does the yeah. trick. Long yeah, bro. Fucking two, two minutes down. To... <laughs> so, so you have carbs all the way till you go to bed. Uh, not now, bro. I did have up until um Sunday, and then we we uh took the last two carb meals out. Mm. Um, so now last me second to last meal is um chicken and uh vegetables, and then obviously last meal is um steak and eggs and um asparagus. Oh. Yeah, man. So, so not, not man, bad. Not Nathan always had those round chest, round shoulders, <laughs> you know, round, you keep that, that waist quad sweep, the quad sweep. Yeah, yeah. No, and you keep that <laughs> waist tight, man. You're always gonna look good up there. That's that's uh that's that's Thank your you, bro. Uh, that's your shit right your staple right there. So so let's start some shit. Let's start some shit. <laughs> it's going to be obviously, and this is just my opinion. Obviously, it's going to be between you and and Regan. Yeah. Okay. Let's go shot for shot. Where do you beat Regan? Front double. Front double. Yeah. Flat last breath. You give yourself the last breath. Side chest. I got one of the best in this in the sport, bro. Yeah. Um, I, I, that's why I'm asking you. I'm asking. Yeah. I'm just asking. You see that testosterone? See his eyes. <laughs> That's that testosterone. So side uh, side chest side chest. I think it'd be even. Yeah, I have a better top half. He has a better lower half. Um, from the from the hamstring from the hamstring death. So, you know, side triceps. Oh, uh, again, same. Back, um, back double. Back double me. Uh, better better back. He has a better hamstring, but the back is more overpowering. Uh, back double me. Most muscular. Real left um, real left spread. Real left spread. Me, you got smoking then. So you yeah. ab absent thighs. Absent yeah. Um, I think myself. Regan's got nice. Regan's got nice, nice, nice quads, nice abs. But I think mine's a lot, a lot prettier. I think my waist is a bit more streamlined. Um, most muscular. If Regan does his staff, most muscular he does, and I just, I just stay up tall because he likes to come down a bit like this. Mm. So he'll give, he'll give his height away. I'll just stand there. Boom. Was gonna give me the same the same height as him. So I'm only five. I'm only five eight on the board of a five eight, right? Regan's like six two, I think. Is yeah, it six, is it that tall? Yeah. It's like six. I mean, six six feet. Six, six feet. Yeah. yeah. But you know, yeah. Uh, Regan does have a, a a pretty shape physique. Oh, he does. Yeah, yeah. he's got great shape. He's done all, he's done all the all the uh, all the categories, right? He's done yeah. all. The <laughs> Chris, did you say he has a pretty shape physique? Yeah. 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 He has the best shape physique. I'm, I'm, I said, I, I said, who I has better? I mean, aesthetically, I mean, I I to his physique. I'm going to be biased, coach, right? But I'm just I'm not, <laughs> try not to so be biased. I, I know try, try, be. try not to be biased. <laughs> no, no, shape wise, when, when you just imagine, right? He, you know, so I'll tell you for me, Nathan has a little bit long torso, short legs, right? Which you can see in, in some of the poses. So when you go shape, Okay, you can notice this. If you know how to exploit and he doesn't know how to hide, you know, that's going to be an issue. Each pose that he said is going to be very close. It's not like Ronnie Coleman. They say, lights out, game over. Yeah, right? yeah. nobody said you that. Know, front last spread is good as your front last spread there is. Regan's front last spread is devastating. Beauty. Okay, let's do this. Let, then let's, let's get to you. Let's go through the poses. You tell me, <laughs> Regan or, or Nathan, front double. 
uh, New Regan has a very good chance to beat him. Yeah. I know. I'm not talking about the Regan from two years ago. I'm talking no, about yeah, yeah, New <laughs> Regan. Yeah, I, I think he can get him even. That, that was not the pose <laughs> Regan was known for, hmm. right? And he didn't feel comfortable. Now okay. he here. So, he much so you think he can? But, or... Listen, Nathan has his strengths, and judges can go either way. And uh, you know, if he loses a shot. You know, listen. I'm just, uh, I'm just asking you as an unbiased coach yeah. at the moment. So you, I, I you, the, you give the, the front, front double, double to biceps can go either way. Okay, no, no, no. Make up. Rings. You have to make up your mind. You got to give it to me. <laughs> unbiased coach of Costa Rica. That no, just try not, try not to be biased. <laughs> no, no, without, be, without being biased. Okay. You know, I got myself in trouble many times. I said before, <laughs> you know, certain things that I'm that sure. my actors goes, you know, but why did you say that? Like I wasn't favoring them. I said that's because I I mean that. Yeah. Know, that's so front funny. front last spread. Front last spread. Uh, I like uh, Regan because of overall shape, and then you see what I'm talking about. Nathan is devastating. Nathan has an X frame V taper out of the, but the, here comes that shape and proportion and balance. Legs a little bit short, and then when he pulls this, he elongates the the torso even more. So there are tricks to it. Overall impression is going to be very hard to judge. I would give it to, to Regan. Okay, side chest. <laughs> well, this this is super close. I I, I can. Uh, Nathan has this crazy full round chest and arms and shoulders, right? Which helps. <laughs> so it would be hard in a in a upper body to take him over. But new Regan doing a old fashioned Arnold. Chest up, you know, like small waist, turn around. It looks phenomenal with the better leg hamstring uh, glutes tie in. So it, it's, it's going to be again push. I'm not going to say bias coach would go with the Regan, but uh, he might lose. Okay. Side okay. triceps. <laughs> you have to dance very around similar, the very similar, <laughs> very similar. Right now, I love his side triceps if he executes like he can. So I would give it to Regan with this. We're gonna practice, uh, you know, every single day. Yeah, new new Regan side triceps is devastating. Got you. Back double. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Nathan. Uh, I'm gonna say again, <laughs> Regan, because of overall, okay. overall uh, impression. Maybe you have a little bit. How about the details. I don't wait, the details. wait. I'm not there yet. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Chris, I yeah, get, I'll gonna, get there. I'm I'll gonna, get there. Hey, listen, I'm gonna earn. My nickname, Bias Coach. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you won all the shots, then, so, right? So who wins back you double? So, so back double to Regan or to Nathan? Yeah, I would still give it to Regan. I'm now, serious. real last spread. Respect. Listen, hamstring glutes, ropes that you're going to see, and shape that he presents right now. Look at that. I mean, uh, you know, look at it. And listen, I might be wrong uh, when this thing is happening. My... Visualization right now what's gonna happen. He's gonna win that pose. And a lot spread as well. And a lot spread, even though the, the Nathan's lads go from England to the goddamn Europe <laughs> to over Scotland, there, right? England to Scotland. England is in yeah, Europe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got absent eyes and most muscular. Yeah. My, my city got again involved. Um, because that's your high pitched voice, man. It's breaking up the series. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> absent eyes. Uh, it, it's in the absolute oranges. What can what can happen, right? Yeah. I I don't know. There's too many super close poses. Right. Okay. Super close. Then let's get to a final question. Condition. Well, we're going for conditioning, right? And uh, look, Nathan was conditioned out of his mind in in Prague, right? And and Regan still beat him. Oh, okay. Regan, oh, I forgot. Regan, yeah. Regan, yeah. Regan did beat you in Prague. Yes. yes. And and that was not a bad version of Nathan, right? That was very good uh, version of Nathan. You know, that the you know, top four were super close. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you look, so as we talk about, was uh, Andrew's condition on the lower uh, from the back, like a hamstring, glutes, you know, from the back, Comparable to Labrada's? No. Labrada beat him that clearly, right? But that's not all that is considered. Yeah. Okay, so now, uh, conditioning of uh, Regan's hamstring glutes is already ridiculous, you know? So yeah. I can imagine. 
his back is ropes all over the place, right? He still has a little bit of skin fold on the lower back, you know, that, uh, okay, so, you know, people are going to look, you know, for that. But he is committed. We have a two weeks, right? Uh, two, two and a half. Yeah, three weeks, three weeks. Yeah. Three weeks, yeah. It's plenty of time, right? So, and I'm going to say this. I love uh, Regan's physique since I saw him. And the first time when I saw him at Olympia, right, I realized he was not big enough for the Olympia level. And I told him that. So we need to improve a little bit in the size to be competitive with the top Olympians, okay? And that's where we are at the right now. But now is this, okay, are you going to sacrifice a little bit to get this kind of thing? And I know we are going again against Nathan. It's like deadly. I mean, Nathan going into the show is a favorite. Nathan is nine times champion, hmm. right? Has everything. He has, you know, proven himself. And so we are going there to... You know, take over. You know, we we like our chances, but we respect him. I, I mean, if uh, <laughs> Nathan wins, we're gonna shake hands and uh, you know congratulate. Yeah. There's no animosity. It's just a yeah. healthy competition. But uh, as you put me on the spot to to judge, I didn't judge as a bias coach. I, I judge as as a aesthetically shapely minded, you know, hashtag bodybuilding guy. And uh, first thing that I said to Nathan, Nathan has a hashtag bodybuilding. I talk about Superman or a uh, or a uh, what's his name? Um, Batman. The, no, 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 no. The 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 green guy. The oh, Shrek. Oh, Hulk. Shrek. Hulk. <laughs> Shrek. Okay. That's Listen, fucked up. I, I posted that before. Uh, the the Hulk or a Superman, mm. right? They both have a crazy amount of muscle mass. What do we want to? Which wolf are you gonna feed? Okay, yeah. this or, or that one. If you are okay, just let's pack on the muscle, then guys that don't, don't have a shape has a chance. I want to feed this one. Now we are there. We have a way too many aesthetically pleasing physiques, monster uh, muscle mass like Nathan, like Samson, like Andrew Jack. Like, let's go in that direction. Mm. So you, you have to know what you're looking for. For me, Nathan and... Uh, Maybe Nathan is going to be a little bit bigger, especially if you say that you are bigger now, you know, uh, so, which then you have to consider. How much does, how much does Regan is? weigh right now? 270. Yeah. So, so you said that for you, Regan has the best shape out of all, the whole lineup, in the whole, in the whole open category. Well, right? I, I put, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. So, that's, so, that's so that means, can Regan, you think, can Regan beat Samson? Not with this much muscle mass, right? You know, he he's gonna need to, you know, uh, get more competitive in a, in the size department. To mm. over, I mean, Samson is overwhelming. When you look at Samson next to Andrew Jack, Andrew, as great as he looked, was small next to Samson. That's why he lost mm. in at, uh, at uh, Arnold Classic, right? They were still oh beautiful shapes. They're both, there. and then you start analyzing, and they turn around, and you see that. Thickness, uh, hamstring, glutes, you know, it's just, yeah. that's where where uh, uh, Samson beat Andrew. So, uh, Regan is not as big as Andrew yet. Mm. So, of course, when you put him next to Samson, yeah, can, does he have a chance right now? I don't think so, you know, realistically. But uh, if he continues packing on the muscle, yes. If, uh, and Nathan, because you're a guest right now, and I do want to tell you this because we never really talked. I love your physique. I appreciate your physique. Yeah. Uh, I tell you this. Uh, I told this to uh, Nick Walker as well. When you have a shorter uh, looking legs from the front appearing, right? You can create, uh, you can make your opposing trunks to lift up and, uh, you know, to the hip. And, yeah. and to hide it, which Lee Priest did perfectly in years, right? You need to create that, you know, illusion. Mm -hmm. So it's not noticeable. Why did I notice? Oh, because I noticed. I, I just, I know. Uh -huh. So if I'm a judge right now, I say, okay, this is this is something I'm going to focus on. And if the things are equal, okay, the two guys, the Q and uh, Regan, are very close. And now I'm going to, okay, I'm going to lean towards this one because this is so perfectly, you know, when you talk balance, it's not just upper body, lower body, you know, size-wise, but it's also, you know, torso yeah. should be a little bit shorter, yeah. legs could be a little bit longer, not the other way around. It's just uh, not accepted in the aesthetics. 
these kind of things. You know, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I love your physique. A manager, Matt, you know, he's a big fan of yours. And he says, look, Nathan is going to be deadly. It's going to be super hard to beat him. I said, no, we're going there to fight. Hmm. Is there anybody else in that lineup that can... You Vito? Know, you Vito. To, to threat, to threat, you know, threaten both of these guys? That good Vito is an enigma. We didn't see him next to the, you know, good guys. He doesn't, he has everything, but doesn't have that. He has a wow as far as factor is size, thickness, right? And I, but it's not that pretty physique, no. you know? When you stand next to Nathan and, uh, and uh, Regan with the beautiful physiques, you can see, uh huh, hashtag bodybuilding shape. You know, yeah, I think I think for, I think we never seen this guy in in in, in a real shape either. What you, I think with, I think with Vito, bro, what you see as well is not what you get because we all thought he was in shape five weeks ago, right, on his Instagram posts, and then obviously he does that that guest posing, and he's, the condition was way way different. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you think to yourself, kind of like, 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 like a flat, you know, in the pictures, just like oh, it's over. Yeah, you see a lot of flaws, yeah. a lot of flaws when he when he started posing on that stage. Yeah, reminds me a of, lot of flaws. Reminds me yeah, of somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nathan, <laughs> you have to go. And I love every time when Dennis asks you from the biceps, you say you beat uh, Regan. Last spread, you beat Regan, and you have to go into the pose with that convention. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm gonna get him right, and uh, you have to present to the judges. I see, I know, without the uh, arrogance, just with the confidence. Yeah. I'm getting it, right? Yeah. So, and and Regan is going to go against you exactly the same way. I know back in the day when I went with the Chris, I know all the poses that, you know, Chris just smokes me. But those few poses that I can maybe hang with him, I, I would try to emphasize. <laughs> 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 you know? Yeah, you have to. You had a good time, man. You know, it was a in the side poses, this is when you can stop pulling the trunks and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but just, you know, without, without, without arrogance, you just gotta be you just gotta, you just gotta be confident. And I think, you know, even even for Regan and myself, if you're not if you're not confident, then why are you going into the show in the first place, right? You have to believe that you're that in that you're the best because if you walk out like you're the best, people are gonna see that. Mm. And that's what people are gonna feel, and then obviously they're, 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 they're gonna be they're gonna be proud, I think. Mm. Yeah. But, yeah. but uh, uh Nathan, another just because uh, I heard Dennis was trying to encourage you and tell you no matter what. You go to the Olympia, not you're gonna analyze this one and then see maybe if you see yourself in top six. You have to see yourself in top six. Yes. You have a, one of the best physiques out there, mm. okay? And uh, you know, if you qualify, you know, let's say you win one and Regan win one. <laughs> you know, I mean what if he wins two? Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> then you know, no. Regan is gonna have to go to the third one. I mean, God knows. Is there another one after that to qualify? Yes. Yes. France, France, yeah, France. There's, yeah. there's one in France. Two weeks yeah. later. Yeah. yeah. So this is, this is a, a re realistic thing. It might happen that the same guy yeah. wins both. Yeah. You know, or they can, you know, make some. <laughs> Nathan, yeah. are you going to France too? No, no, bro. I'm not going. I'm not going to France. I'm uh, taking my kids on holiday straight after Spain, bro. But you got to get yeah. ready for the Olympia. Yeah, exactly. Bro, I got the long, long time for that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already in shape, so I'll take three weeks. I'll be in shape, so I'll take three weeks. I'll be in shape anyway, so I'll take three, three weeks off anyway. No problem. Yeah. Yeah, bro, I'll go out, you know, eat some kebabs, drink some vodka, you know, some ice cream. <laughs> okay. okay. So, so, Nathan, I have to be honest with you. Okay. So, here, here is something that I, I, I want to uh, uh, translate to you. You are that good with a that little effort. What would happen if you dedicate yourself and a whole fucking year yeah. you dig and dig and Ooh. dig? You know, don't go to the vacation. Don't think, oh, I have all the time in the world. I can get ready in three weeks. But seriously, I, I mean, uh, you have uh, that structure and shape and genetics to go, you know, burn fat like crazy, build muscle like crazy. This is the game that you are in, and you are 37. You don't have a yeah. two minutes left. Don't you wish? I say, let me push it and see how far I can go. Yeah, yeah. I, think this, I think this year, you know, I think like that's why I chose to go with it with Stefan, you know, because um, I've never like Chris, Chris knows, and I've never had an off season, right? Ever. When I'm in Q, where I was in Kuwait, the guys helped me there when I was in Kuwait. But when I'm back in England, I didn't have any any help, just on my own thing, right? So. 
this year, this was the first time I've actually stuck to a plan. You know, I got given my, I got given my diet and I stuck to it. You know, that's why I think I reached to as heavy as I got because prior to that, I'd only ever been like 280, 285, something like that. I think just just be just being given a guide, you know, as as my, push me. And then, you know, obviously, you know, you know, the supplements I was taking when I was doing my own shit, I was just taking anything and anything and just putting it in me, you know. But I think now that it's it's more structured, I think working a little bit a little bit longer time, I think, you know, like you said, and dedicate myself to a lot longer period of time. I think we'll see it even better, Nathan, probably next year. But that's why I said because I give myself another two years, two years doing this, and then that's it for me. Um, but I'm just gonna like I said, I'm just gonna push it, bro. Like these next next year and the year after is just gonna be committed to hundred percent. I'm just just gonna just focus on it. So you already um, I'm sorry. Um, then, so you already set wait. yourself, you already said this, I got two more years and then I'm done. Yeah, bro, from when I when I turned pro. I was I gonna would, I was I gonna would, say I, um, I was gonna say, Nathan, that uh, in my opinion, you know, from my experience, and then been there, we all been there, uh, us three guys on this panel. This is your <laughs> prime years from thirty six to forty. It is not really, and I I never really wanted to go that much further after forty because I knew that's when my waist is gonna be getting wider, and that's when my legs are gonna be getting smaller. Yeah, and I knew that from when I was in my twenties. I knew that was coming already. So don't, I mean, like, just for your, your mind's sake, you can be like, you know what, I did it. You, you, you've had fun in your life and you've done everything, but this is your prime year. If you, you, if you want to turn it on, I think you're best. I think you're best when you're guided and when you push. Like if someone's, if you were a car, so to speak, and someone's driving you hard and fast around the corners and you can, you can take it because I've seen you take a hell of a lot of fucking stress and a hell of a lot of everything and, you know, put yeah. that behind you, you know, it rolls off your shoulders and you keep it moving. If someone, if you, if you're guided and you're, you know, you kept that going, I think it's going to help you a lot because I think you can do it. And I think it's going to make you, uh, you can improve even more. You don't even know what that's going to look like, but I hope you yeah. want to know what that looks like on yourself. Yeah, bro. I'm eager, I'm eager, Christian. You know? So that's what I said to, said to Stefan, you know, like this is my this is my this is my my last two two years, three years maximum. Because I, I just want to I don't mind pushing it, you know. I've that makes me that that makes me even more think why would you look at yourself thinking if you're gonna do the Olympia? You win this fucking you show. Are, you you go to, please do. go to the Olympia, man. You know, you don't, you you do don't, now, if you only have two, three more years left, you don't want to waste yeah. one. Do no, all we're gonna do, brother. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's why I'm gonna push. Bro. Like, like this year, this year I pushed it a lot, you know. Hmm. Um, food, you know, supplements, and I was never big, the biggest fan of supplements, you know. But um, this year, other than Trenbolone, because I heard you yeah, love Trenbolone. I live on that shit. I live on that shit. <laughs> I have to get, I have to get told not to use it. I live on that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, I can't I, love it. Bro. Where did I see this? You said I'm on Trenbolone all year. Yeah, man, I love that that's shit. Top. Love that. So, so is it? Is it? Are you really at a point when you use Trenbolone all year that if you don't take it, you can you can tell right away? I get I get weaker. I, like, I just like to be strong. I just like to be strong. That's it. Like also, I like bodybuilding, right? But I love to be fucking strong, bro. So I you use to... so you use Trend for strength? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you use in off season? Like like an an ante? Um, normally I use like three mil of an ante, which is seven fifty, right? Um. 400 Trembolone and like 300 MPP. That's it. Huh. Yeah. MPP later, uh, I'm sorry, I have to be a devil's advocate. <laughs> why, do you take it, why do you take it when you train only four weeks in the whole year? Um, I was, I was to be honest, you know, it was the first, the first time, right? I was depressed because uh, when, uh, when it happened, I was the first place I was depressed, right? But then I lived the life, you know, I was out every day. I was fucking... It was, a, it was in the soccer fields, a hooligan. In, yeah, and dude. then I got back to it, and then the other one snapped, and I was like, ah. And then I, I just thought to myself, well, you know, I've not been on, I've not been on shit all year, so that's you know, probably why I'm, your body responds so well now. That's what I was yeah, saying. I'm, like I'm clean, you know, so just get on, just push the shit, and like I started, you know, my my off season cycle like in like February or March, 
it was late, you know, and then I started dieting in like July. So it was pretty late, you know, it was a quick, it was a short um, off season. And I got to, I got, I got from like two, from like 260 rounds, like 303, which for me is pretty heavy. But, you know, he was saying, you know, if you have a good off season together, he believes like, because my body was just growing, I should be hitting like the three, three fifteens, three twenties and stuff, you know, um, but we're in, in reason, in reasonable shape. So I'm just going to see what I can go, bro. I've not used Milos's shit yet. Milos is secret, you know. You so you never, you never, you never use insulin. I used it this year. I used 15 IU on leg day, 15 IU on um on back day only. Before the workout. Yeah, and, before. And and, and and your back looked the best ever. Hmm. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> so so, you, hey, uh, so Nathan, you only use it before. You don't use it after. Nah, bro, I've never used, I used 15 before and 15 before, that's it. I use 15, I use twice a week. Hmm. For the, for, I, I stopped that like um, six weeks six weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've not, I've, but I, I said, you know, I want to I wanna use it properly hmm. and, you know, I've seen me lots of shit and I want to give that a go. <laughs> I've seen what me lots of You would probably, you would, you would probably blow up, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, always, I'm always honest. You have a responsibility to yourself. You are, what's your profession? Pro bodybuilder, okay, yeah. Olympian, nine times IBB pro champion, okay, with a structure, with ge ge genetics, and you can go endlessly, but you didn't do this, you didn't do that, you compromise here, compromise that, maximize everything. You yeah. are, that window, is, as Chris is telling you, you're going to quit uh, uh, by the time you are 40. Yeah. Now is the time. You know, so after after the when you go to vacation, bring that insulin with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be texting you me a lot and asking how you eat the yeah. shit. Well, you, you know, you, hey, you're gonna get an old school fax of fucking 20 pages. <laughs> <laughs> that is the email, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, listen. Well, Nathan, I appreciate you making the time, man. I know you gotta, you know, you gotta get your food in, you gotta get your get your sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to the shows. You know, Speaking and uh, and I'm I'm and we all looking forward to seeing you back on the Olympia stage. So yeah, yeah you, need, you, you need know. me for anything, just give me a holler. Yeah, you know, Chris, I'll be on, I'll be on you before the old bro. You know that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be on you. All right, and for all special, and for all special medicine, you know that. Bro. Always, brother. Always. <laughs> Good to, good to see you. Right. <laughs> see you in, uh, in three weeks. All right. I'm still not sure if I'm going. Are you going? Are you going? Are you, th sure are you thinking about going to Spain? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, Italy. What? What's the date? September 9th, and then whatever, 16th or something. September 9th. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. so it's two weeks later, not back to back. No, the September 9th, September 9th, and then the 17th, right, Milos? Yeah, something. Like the yeah, ninth, ninth for sure, and then. Uh, yeah, what is it? Uh, yeah, ninth is Saturday, and maybe France is on Sunday on the seventeenth. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So September 9th. is not that the same weekend as the uh, the UFC in, in in Sydney. Yeah, but uh, I'm not going to Sydney. Because <laughs> I, I was gonna, hey, I was gonna ask you if you need a travel buddy. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, but let me know if you go. To, let me know if you go to the show. I might tag along just for the hell of it. Hey, did you see that the style benders? Uh, like a, some kind of movie you got coming out? Did you see that? A movie or a documentary? Documentary, sorry. No, I didn't Stop. see that. Listen, yeah. I'm just going to tell you this. I went, I went to dinner with uh, with Leon. I know, I saw that. And uh, I mean, they're the coolest guys ever, you know? Uh, Leon? You go, with, you, go with, you go with Leon? Yeah, I met Leon. Good guy, right? My boy, bro. I love the guy. I mean, the whole story that he has. And you can yeah, see bro. in his eyes and just energy that, ooh. My I boy is good, man. He's a good guy. Yes. That's awesome, man. All right. See you probably in uh, in Italy. Yeah. See you soon, man. Thank you, brother. All right, guys. Take care, man. Okay. You all be yeah. safe. Okay, brother. Be safe. Be blessed. See you.